Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Stasis, also known as Running Spaceman Naked Stuff Simulator. So I was told that this over here is actually going to charge while in here. Cham tram charging system. So what I need to do is actually just go ahead and leave it in there, I guess. It's a little weird that they want me to leave it in there, but that's okay. Um, let's see, fuse. Go ahead and put it in there. And I guess we wait? I guess we just wait. Do I see it? Apparently it's charging? That's what people told me. Charging status. Recharge tram. Oh! Oh! Oh, nice sound effect. Okay. Okay, the tram's powered. <coughs> I see it. I got Three it. I'm setting your destination to the medical wing. I'm sure the medical wing is perfectly safe. Alright. Am I done? Can I just go? And then I put this over here. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't do that yet. Okay, let's take this fuse, put it in the breaker box. This is the. If we take a look at the open breaker box, this is the tram line breaker. So now I can just go in here. Aha! Boom! 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 I'm a. Damn it! What? All right. I'm in the tram. Tram controls, seating, I could take a seat and just sit. Seating, let's go to the tram controls up this way. Tram active, current station, product storage. Tram line switch, go, 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 go. All right, aha, I messed up something. <laughs> All right, let's leave, let's go up here. Go to the computer terminal. Maybe we could stop recharging the tram or something. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. It's all right. Point and click adventures, friends. That's what you're supposed to do. We're trying to figure things out. Hold on. Destination set. All right. Stop tram. Be on your way. Thank you. Good. Let's go in the tram. I'm very excited to make this work. Hopefully the game lets me. In we go. Okay. Let's go in here. Aha! Boom! That's what I'm talking about. All right. Bye! Bye, shitty area with, like, that let me melt my skin off because I made poor life choices. How long? How long what? How long ago was the evacuation? My family would have left with everyone else. With the people that made it out. That's, uh, uh I'm not sure exactly. That blood looked pretty dry. It's been a while. We've been stuck in this death trap for about three months now. Three months?! Jesus! This is very, um... Dead Space 1-ish. With the story so far. Was it you? I, I, I mean, were you and he? Yuri. No. We would have killed each other long ago if we didn't need each other to survive. I miss him, though. We got things done. Good old Yuri. Nope. Nope. No time to worry about what happened, man. How many of your cockroaches do I have to kill this Milan, let's talk about this. This was the last. Oh shit. Show. I'm coming for you next. Who's he? And Crazy doctor who created these mutants? Ah oh, shit. Low pass filters disabled. Structural integrity compromised. An evacuation is I would love to evacuate. To Girl, hold, on to hold on to something. Girl! Alright. This is like a cutscene from a 90s video game. It's fantastic. I love it. A little bit better looking, clearly. Boom! Oh, Jesus. I like how when he said hold on to something, John just decided to tumble. Like, that was what he wanted to do. Am I alive? 
I would hope so, since the game would be dead if, or end if I wasn't. Was that the tram? Um, and game over. Man, this wins. Stasis is loading. All right. Load away, Stasis. Not like I have anything else to do other than play your game and wait for you to load. I don't have any editing I need to do or anything. John, there we go. John, John, John Cena. John Cena's theme. John Cena's theme. I can barely make you out. You want to make out? I need to get out of this tram. Well, it's okay. I think I can make the jump. Let's... Yeah, girl. I'm a bad ass with a lot of sass. Just Come on. All right, naked man. And oh, oh. Oh, I thought that was like you did it wrong. Here's a death scene for you. <laughs> Shit, that was close. Don't laugh. John, are you okay? John, okay? I'm fine. <laughs> you're, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Hello? Tia? Come in. Radio's not working. All right. Okay, get it together. You're lucky you not have been crushed by the flying first wreck. First. Where the hell am I? Good question. Chances are we'll have to go through this tape here. Yeah, just go ahead and all right, just pat at it a little bit. If you just kind of, and then everything will go away. Oh, all right. Poster. An unremarkable poster has been tacked to the wall. It says censored, so I would call it pretty remarkable. Toolbox PDA. Let's take a look at the PDA. I'm sure it'll have lots of useful information. Holy fucking text. Uh, Albert Olson, he's an engineer. <clears throat> uh, Cayenne, or Kane, or Kanye, uh, certainly spared no expense on the engineering decks. More often than not, the air conditioning breaks faster than maintenance can come back to fix it. The walk to the restrooms can exceed 10 minutes on a good day. It's of no consequence. With the lush retirement package Kane has prepared for me, I'm hap um, I'd happily work in a cardboard box lined with thumbtacks for the rest of my career. This evening was, I was surveying the equipment on the decks when I noticed something rather unusual. A very fine layer of some sort of fungal substance is beginning to settle on the machinery. It's even found its way into the dials and motors. They look filthy on the inside. Given the conditions around here, though, the growth of mold on any surface should come as no surprise. But it seems to be intense, uh, interfering directly with the performance of the Groom Lake. So it's of some urgency that it's taken care of. I've reported it to maintenance. Hopefully they'll be quick in cleaning it up. Kane Corporation must be pleased with my performance so far. I woke up to a promotion. I'm in charge for the construction of new cloning vats, effective immediately. I have little time to elaborate. This job is important and urgent, I believe. I never anticipated that the project would be on such a huge scale. Clones will be created in mass quantities, utilizing several mega vats fitted with special equipment and enrichment liquid to accelerate the growth process. I must enhance the rate at which we'll be creating clone batches. They've invented a method of manufacturing human beings faster than humans can biologically. Project Seed insists that cloning vats are put to use immediately, despite the fact that they're far from complete. The vats can certainly sustain the cloning process, but some safety precautions are lacking. Like the holding chambers for research clones have no power routed to them. So the... Stop it, sound effects. So the electronic locks are useless. The walkways above the vats are still only temporary. O'Sullivan fell over the guardrail and into a vat yesterday. Had it not been filled with sanitizing solution, we would have lost him. Please stop with the sound effects. The clones appear to be op to operate entirely on instinct. One of the complete human clones in Vat Theta bit a good chunk out of Miss Keen's ear during feeding time. Blech. Three of the completed research clones tore through their holding chambers analog la locks last night over in the labs. They found Peters bent over backwards with his head between his knees. He's not going to be walking again anytime soon. Maintenance will be fixing the electronics locks this evening. O'Sullivan has asked to be assigned to a different project. Well, when the clones start murdering people and maybe other things that have become the monsters, you can't really uh, blame him. O'Sullivan's request is denied. Keen, however, has been transferred to Project Seed. 
I've been stealthily increasing the food por the portions of food to Elon's batch in VAT 449. Although they're just hearts and lungs, I can't help but feel an attachment. Additionally, we've noticed a mass of organic matter that has sprouted a tail and swims around aimlessly. Sullivan wants to name it after his mother-in-law, who, in their right minds, names a defective clone. Samantha, the impossible human fish monstrosity, crushed Elon with her thrashing as she was being removed from her vat. Most of the other clones in the batch have similar deformities. None of them, ac none of them actually grew into heart and lung tissue as they were meant to do. In fact, the results thus far are truly horrifying. Everyone has been acting strangely lately. O'Sullivan didn't show up this week, leaving me to tend to the vats by myself. I don't understand why that's being permitted, but management would have most certainly dragged him down here by the cheeks if there was no legitimate justification. Speaking of cheeks, one of the complete human clones took a chunk out of mine when I was escorting it to the research labs. Great. The Groom Lake has been completely locked down. A massive tremor shook and collapsed the walkways over the cloning vats. I'm trapped. I can't access the bulkhead. If this lockdown is anything like I heard the last one was, it should be over soon enough. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Two packs of cigarettes will only last for so long. I can hear screams of terror through the ceiling. They echo. Each reverberation is a reminder that, uh, that I'm damn fortunate to be down here and not up there. Although my supplies are running out. I sincerely hope that I don't have to swim for it. If the clones don't get me, cardiac arrest from aer aerobic exercise will. Uh, I'm going to attempt to swim across Vat Theta. I'll reach the other side and try to get myself to the next level of the ship. Clones have been violently floundering in the growth liquid. Given what they did to Peters, I might not see the other side of this vat. The remainder of this entry is to be delivered to my wife. Rosalind. I can only hope that I have the opportunity to deliver this to you myself. If not, I must attempt to express with words what I have longed to convey physically. Should I die before I can get off this vessel, every moment of my life, every cumulative experience that has influenced my being, will scream your name, begging the reality of an inev inevitable death to spare me, if only to touch you once more. I apologize and regret every second I have spent away from you. Until that moment we first met, my heart was void, lacking the fierce fires of passion that you have bestowed within. No matter the outcome of my escape, I will be long dead before they are extinguished. For an eternity after I have perished, you will live on. Your name will ring out through the galaxy, a testament to all of existence that there can never exist a love greater than what I have for you. Your love is my life. As such, I am immortal. That is sad as shit. The clones got him. The clone mutants got him. A sizable comprehensive toolbox has been abandoned here. Open it up, bitch. Oh, shit. Where the hell am I going to find the key in this mess? You're not going to find a key. You're going to pry that shit open. All right, or or not. <laughs> well, twenty-one fifty-one. We left in twenty-one forty-eight. Oh shit! Three years ago, these bastards had us here for three years. Three years, Jesus, man. Well, looks like we're going in here, I guess. Tim, here we go. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm in some sort of hell. Oh, I'm not sure what to call it. I'm some sort of hell works for me. There is. The dead body and the half-formed clone. In there. And there's another half-formed clone over there. I don't want to go in there, man. Uh, can we do some... Let's put on the electricity. No, no, no. We're going to... Oh, I don't want to go in there. It still has fuel in it. Luck at last. Can we put the light on over here? No. Can't touch any of this. All right, let's just knock this over, I guess. I thought that was too easy. Well, what if we crowbar it? Yeah, pop it. All use, all purpose crowbar. No, nope. all right. Well, I don't want to go on the destroyed crosswalk because I'm afraid of the clo. Oh, oh no! No, hell no, dude. Haha. <laughs> Oh no, it's like crying. Oh no. What if I just drill it? Yeah! Alright. Alright. That works. Kill the clones. Don't want to go in there. Push it, bitch. You got this. 
No, crowbar it. We, we unscrewed it, then we're gonna pop it with the crowbar. You stay down there. You're bad. Okay. Okay. Now let's see what I can do. Yeah, you turn this thing on, man. Wait, what? No. All right, I got exposed wires here. Oh, I'm gonna get grabbed. Oh, no! Oh! 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 I don't know what I expected, so I have to, like... Some, do something with the exposed wires. I feel like if I can grab it and, like, connect it to something, then that makes more sense, but... Not gonna happen. Alright. I already did that. I think I already went through this. Like, I, I know I already went through this, but I hope it, like, registered that I did. Okay, do that. What if I... Ooh, what if I... Drill the toolbox? How is that ridiculous? And I can't do this. Alright. Let's go in here. There's gotta be something. So at least we know, like, the monster in which we're fighting, though. Can't go in. I can hear the thing walking around. Ooh, 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 nylon emergency tape. Yes. I could use this. I don't know what for, but okay, that works. Okay. Go in here. Loading. Okay. So yeah, I'm back. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm in some sort of. Oh, I'm not sure what to call it. Okay, do this. Am I supposed to like fish? Like I don't know what he wants me to do, but we're gonna do this and this, and then crowbar it. Okay. Then we got exposed wires. See what I can do. Nothing here. I can't see it working like. Okay. Um. What am I missing at this point? Can I combine shit? This should be useful. Really? That's what I was. Guys. I don't want to talk about the time I spent. <laughs> what the hell, man? So I need to make a grappling hook and limit. Now I can get the dead body. Now I can get the dead body? Now the clone is not gonna come after me? Fuck you. Bullshit. Goddamn adventure games. The one thing I forgot to do was like, combine an item. Rest in peace. He will, in the cloning vat goop gop area. Okay, let's do this. Toolbox, let's see what we got. Anything good? Jumper cables. Okay, okay. We're, we're getting somewhere now. So with the jumper cables, what we can easily do, clearly. I don't want to combine hmm. that. Maybe. Ex is the exposed wires. No? This generator. Goes on here. Okay, so a generator to the electrical thing. Then we turn on the generator afterward. And this goes yeah. on here. Yeah. Perfect. Mathis is smart. He has a big ol' heart. Mathis is smart. And now I kill all the clones. Eat a dick. Oh, you are horrifying. Thank you. I am staying calm, sir. So, can we turn it on one more time? Let it go. Let's not go in there while this is running. I think we should probably wait because I wouldn't put it past the game to kill me. No, I would not. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Fucking delicious. Yeah, just keep swimming. 
。哦啊，我我我。<laughs> yep, I'd be vomiting everywhere. Oh, oh, he went under the water. Oh, if I if I was him, I'm just gonna I'd vom pretty much, fucking everywhere. Bloody handprints. Someone got dragged. Oh, we yeah. freaking made it. You hear me? I'm working on getting out of here. I can see a light far above me. What is this? Way out. Vat 13 computer terminal. Vat 12 and Vat 11. Let's go to Vat 11. Start here. We got a bunch of reports. Good, good, good. All right. For now, we'll wrap the episode up here, and we'll continue next time going through these terminals and trying to get our way out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Stasis. If you are, let me know in the comment section below, and by dropping a like, your support means the world to me, and as always, I will see all of you next time. Bye-bye. I don't know why my hands are up here. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.